Mike's Daily Podcast. I have never podcasted before. I don't know what I am supposed to do. Let's see. We're talking today about daily things. And my name's Mike. And it's a podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. FF episode 1608-1608. Today we hear from Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, the brewmaster. And we get to some things. Mike's Daily Podcast. That are surrounding you. That are swirling around you in your world today you probably didn't know about. Mike's Daily Podcast. And I was listening to my podcast from the past couple of days and it put me in a kind of Mike's Daily Podcast kind of haze. I was, hey, I guess I talked about Sonic and there was something I dropped when I was happening upon it, the topic. And that is, I save the cups. Mike's Daily Podcast. That's right. I save the cups from Sonic. Because they're thick. They're amazingly resilient. Mike's I was looking at Daily the consistency podcast. of their cups. And some fast food yeah. places, their cups, they lead you to believe that they're resilient, but they're not. These cups survive going through the dishwasher. They don't shrivel up. They are amazingly thick. So I save them. Now, I don't go to Sonic much because their shakes are like 3,000 calories. But they're oh so good. And have you ever gotten an Oreo cookie, peanut butter, chocolate shake? Oh, oh, oh my God. Hey, look who just walked in. Hi, Mark. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. Hi, I'll do it. I have my horse snelly. <laughs> and it's me, the disgruntled fiddle player. Tell you what. What? You drink really sissy shakes. Ooh. You can't say sissy anymore. That's not politically correct. Well, I don't give a crap. Look who else walked in. Hello, Mike. I make the delicious root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy. Do you have a chocolate peanut butter Oreo cookie root beer? Yeah, okay. I, I know that's probably not the best idea for a root beer. Oh, they just put a picture of Barbara Bush on the screen. She was she was a, a first lady that was married for a long, long time to a president who was a one-term president. And there you go. I summed it up for you. And here's today's podcast picture. But there will be a funeral service for her on Saturday. And you can watch it on C-SPAN. The podcast picture today is not of Barbara Bush, or any of the Bushes for that matter, or of a Bush. It is Mike. And once in a while, I post a picture of me. Because the show has my name in it. And because... This show is about me, and it always has been. And this show's been going on since 2011. Which, actually, I should say, I should lie and say 2009... Because I did start podcasting in 2009 But I changed the names a couple of times The first name was lame It was Messy Desk The second one was uh, the Mike's Podcast Picnic And that idea And that's when I started bringing back the characters That I used to do on the Santa Fe Cafe in Ventura On K Hey 100.7 And then, because I did that show for 11 years in Ventura County. And I don't know if anybody listens to this show that used to listen to that show. If you do, please email me. Please. Please. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. Oh, I was listening to a show. uh, There's a friend of mine that does a internet radio station called Swing Street Radio. He's actually been on the show uh, just ever so briefly. And so it's all 19, basically swing music, and it doesn't really pertain to any particular year, but you do hear a lot of 30s and 40s and 50s, but sometimes he'll play modern bands. But he also has these shows that people send him that are like a weekly show, and he plays these shows, and this one guy was doing a weekly show, and he goes, make sure to check me out and email me at swingera at earthlink.net he said earthlink.net oh my gosh and then Jimmy Dore very funny comedian I used to listen to his podcast all the time until he started getting uber anti-Hillary 
and went pro Bernie at a time when I was not. I wasn't on the Bernie train, although now I, in hindsight, wish I was. But Jimmy was starting to irritate me. But there's a guy that he has on there, Michael, not Michael Moore, Michael something, the kind of a MM like me type thing. And this guy does amazing impressions. Although he does them all on the phone, which you can disguise a lot of things when you're on the phone. But it's still brilliant. He would do Rip Torn. Uh, a lot of people in politics, like uh, the guy who used to be the Speaker of the House, John Jimmy J. I I can't think of his name at the moment. Just like I couldn't think of Amy Adams' name on the show where I was trying to figure out Amy Adams is in The Master with Philip Seymour Hoffman. It's not Paul Dean Anderson. It's Paul Thomas Anderson. I was thinking of Harry Dean Stanton. It all gets jumbled and garbled up in my head. It becomes a word salad in my brains. But that's what the guy talked about. Uh, Oh! I cannot think of... I still can't think of the speaker. It's not important. Nobody... He's gone. He's out of politics now. The point is, the guy can do great impressions. And the point is, Earthlink is a funny... Earthlink.net. It's not even a .com. It's a .net. And it goes way back. Way back to before I was on the internet, probably. Back to these days... You've got mail. Hey. And that guy, apparently... Did just that he voiced just that one thing that says that you've got mail and now he drives an Uber. There's nothing wrong with driving an Uber. A friend of mine drives an Uber. She rents the Uber, drives it. I didn't even know she was bringing me. Every time I see her, she tells me about some new thing that I never never knew about. And she says she's not tech savvy, but somehow, like she told me about the app. I think it's called Picture This. Where have you ever looked at a plant and wondered what it was? You take this app out, take a picture of the it takes a picture of the of the plant and immediately tells you what it is, which is fantastic because in the Bay Area, a lot of stuff grows and you can find out, oh, what what's this beautiful and a lot of wildflowers now. Oh, it's so beautiful the hillsides. They are alive with the sound of uh, and with the visuals of wildflowers everywhere you go. My mom does that. She doesn't say where. She goes, where? Now, English is not my mom's first language. German is. And then she learned French. And then she learned English. So somewhere in that, she got a where. When my dad... My dad is from America. uh, Was born in America. But he was telling me about when he first met my mom. And he goes, you know, she didn't learn English first. That was like her third language. That's why she's... And actually, she learned English in England. So she's got even that. She's got a British accent on top of a French accent on top of a German accent. So that's why your mom sounds like that, son. And I said, okay, Dad, thanks for the FYI. Hey, the point is, Earthlink.net is cool. And I don't have one, and I don't think I want one. I'm a Gmail. So if you can email me at Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com or go to the website, Mike's Daily Podcast.com. And there's a phone number, too, 336-MM-DAILY. I answer that phone here at Cafe Anyway. In fact, someone's calling that phone number. They're calling the phone right now here at Cafe Anyway. 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 The phone is ringing now. Oh, here it is. It's, it's ringing. See, not only ringing, it's buzzing, and it's singing. Ring, 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 banana phone. Here, let me answer it. Hello? Hello, Mike. This is Brian. Who is this? Brian. Uh, Bling? No, 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 it's Bling. Blaine? No, it's Blast. <laughs> it's Blast? <gasps> Mike, it's Blast. Ah, uh, I, I can't through the phone that you are calling on. I can't really get your name. Mike, it's very important that you get my name. Otherwise, we can't have this conversation. All right, fine. What is your name? My name is Tone. Hello? Hello? Tone. Oh, there goes Tone. A-Tone. Uh, 
Tesla girls, Tesla girls. This is the part of the show where I start to just sing random songs. There was a song I sang one time that had this cool beat. It went like this. It went beep, 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 beep. I hope you have a great Friday. This show is going to be really in the soft demo. These lyrics are really... Oh, it ended. Damn. Where were we? Oh, the podcast picture I was on a, uh, it's uh, the earlier in the week I had a podcast picture with the wonderful dog Basil the Boxer and for your special because you're listening today at 11 minutes into the show you get a special treat my Mike's Daily Podcast my MDP listener I am going to give you a the one of the earliest recorded Basil barks that I ever recorded This is the earliest. Are you ready? Here we go. Wasn't that awesome? Let's go play it one more time. One of the earliest times, and I'll tell you what gave me the idea to record Basil's Barks. I used to do the podcast at my house in my basement, and one time, and Basil would sleep on the couch downstairs as I was doing the show, and somebody knocked on the door, and anything sets my dog off, and he goes, he, he barked like that. And I got it on, as I was recording, I got it on tape, and I'm, oh, ho, 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 I'm saving that. Here's an idea. All Todd suck. I have worked, in radio anyway, anybody named Todd is a jerk. I worked for, I worked for two different Todds. I worked for Todd. His last name was, rhymes with uh, Sky Let. And then this other... Todd worked for me. He did mornings, and his last name rhymed with uh, Quaker. And both these Todds were idiots, jerks, and ended up making my life crap. Other Todds, and so I was discussing this with my friend with the cool apps, and does the driving for Uber, rents the Uber, drives the Uber, gets enough Ubers to pay for the Uber, and then uh, makes a little bit more and then brings it home. So she doesn't actually have to own an Uber, which I didn't know they did that. And she told me how to find plants, which is awesome. So, I we were discussing that about Todd's. Is your if your name is Todd and you're awesome, please let me know cuz we need more good Todd's in this world. Uh Todd Snyder is a singer and I think he's pretty good. Also on Facebook, as we go to Facebook right now, I want to check something. And then uh, Mark Zuckerberg wanted to tell us something. You know, we have a basic responsibility to protect people's data. And if we can't do that, then we don't deserve to have the opportunity to serve people. Um, okay. I have, oh, Irene Pena wants to be on the show. All right. Yeah. I think she wants, I don't know if, I don't have much time to record her, sadly. I gave her some time, and she's like, that's not enough. All right. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and then, let's see. I got... Oh, somebody... Did somebody... No. Oh, the Thick Uns. There's a band called the Thick Uns. The Thick Uns. And I once recorded them. They used to be called Crumb Catcher. And their interviews are on mikesdailypodcast.com under the... In the C section, which I often sit in the C section. And I actually was a C section. That's why when I leave a house, I always got to go out the side door. The, wait, the front door? No, wait, the back door. What's the joke that the, uh, the guy does? I can't think of my comedians at the moment. I can't think of comedians. I can't think of politicians. I am being very efficient today. The Thick Uns, though, is the name of that. Hey, so if you go on your Facebook... A thing popped up saying privacy, privacy, privacy. You can do this and that now. And and you can uh, look at all the things, the apps that are connected to your account. Look through them and, and cancel the ones you don't need anymore. I found a bunch of things connected to my account that I don't even use anymore. And that is that is got to be what's going on with you right this second. Because I am anti-app. As much as a guy can be anti-app. I don't have enough memory on my phone to have a bunch of apps. 
I don't like the fact that people are always, Hey man, you gotta put this app on your phone. One person actually grabbed my phone and put an app on it. And I'm, I, did I ask you to do that? I don't need that. I don't want that. I'm, not, I'm gonna use it this one time and never, oh, just put you, delete it when you're done. Well, I'm gonna forget. So don't put apps on my freaking phone. So Facebook now is because of all the crap that they've started and all the problems that they've caused and Justin Timberlake saying to them, drop the, the just Facebook is telling you and please do this. Go into the apps and 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 see everything connected to your Facebook account and the stuff that you ain't using Delete, 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 as the Cybermen say, and I don't have that drop, sorry. Delete, delete, and get rid of them. Uh, and then the, what is it, the other guys. Ah, oh, crap, I damn it, the, 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 the robots in, the other robots in Doctor Who say exterminate, exterminate the, they're from Scarrow, and I can't think of them at the moment. That's the kind of, mind block of a day I'm having so I removed an, a, an app called Seismic and I'm like what is Seismic and I, I looked it up I, I googled it I actually binged it so I got points and Seismic was an old thing I used to use to share my podcast to multiple platforms well they went out of business and turned into something else I said I don't need this so I deleted it it's gone it's off and there was a couple other things I deleted. So really, they and they really walk you through it. Once you delete it, they go, okay, these are all the ones you deleted. And you can make sure that these things are off. Because all those accounts are still having access to whatever you're doing. And it's it's irritating. Um, and then, uh, oh, what's this? Re- expired shows... Removed and you still have ac- oh yeah, that's that they still have access. That's crazy. Oh, uh, as Basil the other day, old Basil Bark, as we were walking, he relieved himself on someone's lawn. Suddenly, a door opens, and I, I guess I have a door opening sound effect. Here we go. The door opens. A person didn't walk out of the door. The door just opened, and I look through the door, and the guy whose house this lawn belongs to he's old he's he's hunched over and he's giving me the biggest stink eye (laughs) and i'm picking up the poop there's no what's the issue here gosh i'm running into so many lately i've never had this problem before but lately in castro valley that people are being so freaking sensitive about their front lawns i talked about that one guy a couple weeks ago who got mad that Basil was sniffing his something on his lawn. And then I found out later he's got a dog. Well, that's what he was sniffing was the fact that he leaves it. This guy uh, will leash up his dog and then leave him on the front lawn. He'll be out there too. But the dog makes, you know, will pee and stuff. So my dog, of course, is interested. Oh, people got to chill. That's all I got to say to wrap up the show as we go outside a cafe anyway. We're bringing you Mike Silly Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. And I was watching on the Street Journal's website. that, And that's because that's the, my Vizio, which never buy a Vizio. The guy I produced the show for said that on the air yesterday. And when he said it, I gave him a Mr. T agreeing with him sound effect. Which sounds a little like this. That's right, Jack. But this guy, I don't know if I, oh yeah. Um, they're not, they're not called smartphones. They're called slightly smartphones or dumb phones. Less taxing on your data plan. They also tend to last for a week on our charge, not a day or less. Yeah. Do you remember, do you remember when phones used to last? You kind of need WhatsApp. That they, when they used to last for more than a day on a charge, they could last for a week. Remember that? People are like, you know what? I don't need all these stupid apps on my phone. I want the basics. I don't want Mark Zuckerberg tracking me. So they're going back to this, these older phones. It's awesome. App and Facebook Messenger. The KaiOS team says it's working on that, but for right now, it's still a little too much to ask. You also want a way to get around, especially when you're traveling. Some future phones already have basic navigation, and the Nokia 8110 and other KaiOS phones run Google Maps. But is that enough? 
Don't you also need a really good camera? And Spotify, YouTube, and Netflix for music and videos? Candy Crush? Lyft? Snapchat? Smartphones do so many things that it can be hard to figure out which ones we're all willing to live without. And after using a touchscreen, thumbing around on a web page is just frustrating. And don't even get me started on T9 typing. The good news. <sighs> T9 typing? I guess that's back when we were just uh, punching away on a keypad. So these actually have, you know, the keypads. You remember the flip phones? Oh, but the way this guy ends this, what's his name? Oh, they don't put his name on the byline? That's not good. David Pierce. David Pierce. He's with the Wall Street Journal. Young guy. Wears these awful sweaters. And I love his segments because he always films around the Embarcadero in San Francisco. Always films right around there. And I, every shot that he does where he's sitting there talking to the camera, I look behind him. I go, hey, I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. That's It's a really nice area of San Francisco. And he... what? I don't even know what he called those phones. But... Alcatel looks like the maker of this one type of... Basically, he, he ends this segment going, there is nothing better than when you hang up on somebody when you have a flip phone and you, and you smack it down. Is that... Let's see if we can catch him when he says that. And honestly, is there a better way to hang up on somebody? <laughs> when you go... When you just snap it down. It's awesome. Snap it down. Snap it down. Snap it down. Snap it down. And snap it down is what I had to say about that. Finally, uh, why is Donald not going to the Barbara Bush funeral? Hmm. And Southwest is going to give five thousand dollar checks to passengers that were on that deadly engine failure flight. Five thousand dollar checks, and that's all I have for you. Okay, that's going on in the world today. Have a great weekend. I. I'm just gonna. I. By the way, this is me on nine hours of sleep. Nine hours. Got to bed at seven last night. Couldn't believe it. And then I overslept. So, yay for me. I will. I can take this over sleeping thing. This is great. So I hope you get to oversleep this weekend. Uh, thank you. Please, please come back now. Come on back to cafe anyway. Give us a call sometime at three three six mm daily. Even if your name is Blaine or Bling or Blue or whatever your name is. And thank you for listening to the show. Next show, we will have the wonderful Madame Rita Vega Valentino and Bison Bentley. Possibly a super secret Sunday show. Let's keep our fingers crossed for that. Hopefully another podcast soon. Thank you so much. So, so much for listening. And delete your apps. But not the one that you're using to listen to the show. That's important. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.